All right, this is Luis Sandoval, fighthype.com, and we're with Christina Poncher. First of all, Christina, we just got out of a very hot gym. Yes, we did. <laughs> with Victor Full Star. Aren't all the gyms hot, I feel like? And it's summer. True. <laughs> what do you think about the fight? Him, uh, Terrence Crawford, a lot of people think it's the supremacy for 140. Yeah, it is. How does Christina Poncher see it? I, I definitely agree. I mean, I'm really excited for this fight. I know some people have given some pushback being that it's on pay-per-view, but what other types of fights should fight fan support? I mean, this is two guys undefeated, putting their records on the line, putting their belts on the line, fighting at their weight, in their weight class. I mean, what what else could, could you guys want in terms of, I know you would want it for free, but if you're a true fight fan, I feel like this is the kind of fights that you should support, and both of these guys bring it. You know they will, and they're in great condition, great, like, six packs everywhere, apps for days. You know, these guys are ready to rock and roll. You know, I, I, told, I talked to Bob, and I know Terrence is going the pay-per-view route, and not a lot of guys have what it takes to become a pay-per-view sure. star. Bob told me why he thinks he does. Do you think What Terrence, did Bob say? He said he has a charisma, you have to be good inside the ring, you have to be able to yeah. make people pay their money. So <laughs> do you think Terrence has all that stuff, or is he embarking on that, that road to be a, a pay-per-view star? He's almost there. He's almost there. He's, he's grown leaps and bounds in terms of um, his personality, his interviews. Um, and I think the more that people get to see where he comes from, um, I don't know if you watched the HBO special on him or yeah, the Top Rank special, it was, they were really good. And you get a chance to see that, you know, these are the kind of guys that you want to support, guys that have been through adversity, um, guys that stay humble, guys that take on the responsibility of being a champion with, you know, his efforts that he does in, in Africa and, and giving back. And, um, these are the kind of guys that I think that can be pay-per-view stars. And, you know, um, he, he saw him talk a little bit more smack against Lundy. And, you know, he is a jokester. And he does, like, when, you, when he's with his friends and he's with his family, you see that side come out. And I think the more he grows into an adult, into a man, I mean, he is a man, obviously. But you know what I'm saying? The older that he gets, the more confident he is in his skin and up on that platform, the more I think that he will shine. We're hearing stuff about Manny Pacquiao coming back. Yeah. He's not going to be retired. Coming back from where? <laughs> it they took really all of three months. I know. Like he's fighting twice a year. That's what we're used to, right? Are you, are you surprised at all that? No, not, not, in, the, not in the slightest. Why I mean, not? Um, you know, we did the post-fight interview with him in the ring after the Bradley fight. Of course, I asked the question, just like Max did, you know, is this, is this it for you? And he told me yes. And, you know, so I said, well, thank you for everything. But in the back of my mind, I'm like, you're lying to my face right now. <laughs> but no, I, I mean, obviously, um, winning the Senate seat was a huge... Um, a huge thing for him that, that he wanted to accomplish and achieve and, and he still believes in that very much so and is still going to fulfill those duties the best that he can but when you're making come on upwards of 20 22 million dollars a fight yeah. to do it only two times a year and that's guaranteed in your contract no matter who your opponent is like come on you know he's still and he looked great in the in the fight you know he looked great in the last bradley fight so i absolutely didn't think it was going to be the end um i didn't have any inside information that's just my gut telling me that it wasn't and i feel like a lot of fight fans probably have that same feeling so with that said, do we expect the same thing from Floyd Mayweather, who's retired, been way longer than, than, than Manny has, but do you think we see him come back, Christina? Yeah, I think so. Why not? I mean, he's <laughs> arguably the greatest fighter of all time, one of the best without without argument, 49-0. Mm. Why not go for that 5-0? You know, it's a nice, pretty round number. There's a nice, pretty round new stadium, you know, in, in Vegas that I'm sure he would like to fight at. Um, so, so why not? Why not? Why not? How, how, just from your 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 um, view, how how good is Floyd? Just compared to a lot of the guys, I mean, you've seen Manny up close, sure. a lot of fighters up close. I know you got to see him finally in Vegas. How, how was it? What did you experience? Or what did you see? Well, it's hard because I mean I, I work for Top Rank. Everybody knows that, so it's not like I sit in Mayweather Boxing Club and get a chance to, to see what how he trains. But I mean, to, to get to where he is, how could he not be a beast in the gym? And, and how could he not, you know, be an elite athlete with, with everything that he gets? These guys that are successful like he is, it's because they stay on weight all the time. They, they train all the time. It, boxing is not just what you do when you're in the gym. It, it's how you live your lifestyle. And although he does have, you know, a crazy lifestyle at the same time, he, he's never lost focus on what's most important, and that's boxing. And um, so I would love to see him fight again. I think that, like you mentioned, being able to stay disciplined got him to where he is. And just having that hunger and that drive, he came from nothing. He came from nothing to put his name and his family on the map and to be able to spend the money and live the, li live the lifestyle that he has. But, you know, I I've only, the one fight I've only seen live was the fight against Manny Pacquiao. And obviously he showed that night that he was the better fighter. But, um, you know, that's how it goes. <laughs> Last question. I got to get your take. Kell Brook, Triple G. Took a lot of people by surprise. Yeah. People still don't believe it. What did Christina Pancha think of? I mean, is that something we're going to see going forward? Because we saw Canelo Khan. We're seeing this now. Is that like I, a I don't like it. I mean, I'm not a big fan. I mean, I'm not saying I don't like it. I think Kell Brook, I, I, people are like, what? What is he doing? You know? And it's like, well, 
you know, you're taking the risk, you're getting the payday. You know, I, I had the same shock when I heard about Amir Khan fighting Canelo Alvarez. I was like, oh, Amir Khan's finally getting the big fight <laughs> that he wanted. It's just not against the guy, yeah. you know, that he wanted. But, I mean, good on Kel Brook. And look, Triple G, it's hard because you know that he'd fight anybody. Mm -hmm. uh, they've brought the fight to a lot of people, and a lot of people haven't taken it. In so, his division. In his division, exactly. So it's like, what do you guys want the guy to do? Yeah. Somebody sign here. Okay, you're up. All right, let's yeah. fight. And then the next guy. So, but it's just, you know, back in the day when, when Roy Jones would go up and, and he'd fight at light heavyweight and stuff, it's like, it was for, because they were like the pound for pound best guys. You know what I mean? And maybe some people would argue that Kell Brook is in that mix, but there's still other guys deserving of the opportunity in that weight class and that, you know, that people would want to see more. So it, it's tough I, and it's dangerous. There's Very weight dangerous. classes for a reason. You yep. know what I mean? This guy can go in there and... He's you know, you don't want to get his, the best middleweight. You don't want to get it, your head knocked off. You know, you've got a family to go to. A family, of course, fight fans. Oh, I want to see this guy go in there and get knocked the fuck out. And it's like, yeah, but what about that doing? They gotta per go home. Permanent though. damage. Yeah. They still got a life. You know, so it's tough, but. I mean, I'll still watch it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still cool. going to watch. It's what we do. Always great insight from you, Christina. Thank Appreciate you. it. Let people know where they can follow you on social media and all yes, that good stuff. Yes, before we get hit by a car. Yes, I think it's the third time. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, at Christina Poncher, C R Y S T I N A, on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all my interviews and stuff, always up on toprank.com. And um, Crawford Post All, the undercard, as always. And we got some really good talent mm -hmm. on the undercard, the under undercard. Mm -hmm. um, we stream those live on, on Top Rank TV, so you can tune in and watch those and then switch on over to the pay per view. Sounds great. Thank you, Christina. I always Thank appreciate you. your time. Appreciate you.